Hi YouTubers, how are you today? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Um, I told you like in my last video that I was going to make a longer video. And um, also in my first video I said that I was going to talk about um, other things besides my hair. By the way, you like my hair? I like my hair. I think my hair looks fabulous. But anyways, that's on another note. Um, what I want to talk about today is something else that's very important to me and that's health. Um, I've never, I don't know if there are any other YouTube videos on health. I'm pretty sure there is because there's just about everything on YouTube. But I, I decided that I wanted to make my own video and get across, you know, what I think and, you know, what I have feel and what I've researched. Um, I'm actually going to try to make like a four series video, a four video series on you know health and then I'll probably get back to hair or whatever other thing I want to talk about but um, today I want to talk about um, one uh, one thing that you know Americans uh, one thing that's happening to Americans and it's been happening for you know a few years it's nothing new but the fact that you know most Americans are fat um, in Mississippi one in four people is fat. So that means that every four people that live in Mississippi, one of them is fat. And to me, that's ridiculous, and it's not called for. And, you know, to me, like, definitely, there's something wrong with that picture. And one of the things that um, is making us so big is the fact that we eat mostly processed foods. And it's not something that you can avoid because most of the, every, everything that you pick up off the shelf in the store is processed. And so, you know, with everybody being so busy, it's kind of hard, you know, nowadays to sit down and have a home-cooked meal um, without getting those dinner in the boxes or getting those frozen dinners or something like that. But, you know, food companies know that. And so they're putting like all this crazy stuff in these foods, just number one, to make them cheaper, and number two, to make you addicted. Like, you know, I've heard there are people that are addicted to food, and it's not so much the food, it's the fact what's in the foods. And one of the things that I want to talk about is hydrogenated oils. What are hydrogenated oils, you ask? Well, um, you can actually Google it and get... Like, I'll, I'll try to find the websites that I got these off of and post them when I post this video. But I'm just going to read, like, some of the things that I have downloaded um, from the Internet. This is, what is hydrogenation? Hydrogenation is the process of heating an oil and passing hydrogen bubbles through it. The fatty acids in the oil then acquire some of the hydrogen, which makes it more dense. If you fully hydrogenate, you create a, a solid, a fat, out of the oil. But if you stop part way you create a semi-solid, partially hydrogenated oil that has a consistency like butter, only it's cheaper. Now, it goes on to say, what's wrong with hydrogenation? Unlike butter or virgin coconut oil, hydrogenated oils contain high levels of trans fats. A trans fat is an otherwise normal fatty acid that has been transmogrified by high heat processing of a free oil. The fatty acids can be double-linked, cross-linked, bond-shifted, twisted, or messed up in a variety of other ways. Uh, in short, trans fats are poisonous, just like arsenic or cyanide. They interfere with the metabolic process of life by taking the place of natural substance that performs a critical function. And that is the definition of a poison. So basically, in short, hydrogen oils are really bad for you on so many levels. They create um, lots of health problems in our bodies because it's not something that, you know, is, that naturally occur occurs in our food chain. They modify, you know, normal oils and, you know, turn them into, turn them into something else and it's killing us. Because it's not something in our, you know, like I said, it's not something in our normal um, um, food diet. Now, what kind of health problems can hydrogenated oils cause? Let's see. 
it causes direct it directly promotes heart disease promotes cancers breast cancer prostate cancer colon cancer results in low birth weight infants raises ldl cholesterol and lowers hdl which is the good cholesterol cholesterol raises blood sugar levels and promotes weight gain interferes with the absorption of essential fatty acids and dha um, impairs brain function and damages brain cells accelerates tumor growth accelerates the process of type 2 diabetes causes gallbladder disease causes liver disease i can go on and on and on about how bad these um oils are for you but what i just named alone is enough to get you to understand how um how they're killing people and in the meantime when it's not killing you it's making you fat now um <clears throat> i'm not i'm not telling you to like you know freak out or whatever and you know not and stop eating because you can't stop eating you have to eat to live but um it's really time that you know we step back and go look at our food labels before we just start picking stuff up off the shelf because this the things that are in that are in the foods in grocery stores today are so unhealthy for you it's just you know even okay the article goes on to talk about it was um hold on it goes on to talk about uh if i can get to it what I have, what I have, oh oh that's not it. That's not it. Oh, okay. It even goes to talk about, it says, even some items on the health food shelf, like Tiger's Milk Bars, contain partially hydrogenated oils. A, mar a product marketed as a health food contains, um, um, it says, can you imagine that? A product marketed as a health food that contains partially hydrogenated oils? If they want to market it as a candy bar, fine. But to market as a, health food calls for a class action lawsuit on the basis of false advertising so even so this article goes on to talk about that even health food health foods that are in the market had contain hydrogenated oil so how can it be healthy for you if it contains trans fats and yes you do have um the label the nutrition labels that say zero trans fats but trust me if it has on the at the bottom where in the ingredients where it says partially hydrogenated oils then it has trans fats in it because that's how that's all hydrogenated oil, oils are and you know these food companies i'm not going to put anybody on blast or whatever because you know i don't want to get in trouble for copyright laws or something but anyways um these food companies are, you know, basically killing us, and in, when they're not killing us, they're making us fat by putting these cheap imitation um, oils in these foods just so they can make a buck. And you think, you know, how sad is that? You know, our own fellow Americans, don't, don't they don't even care about, you know, our, our health. But you have, like, so many... Um, diet books so many whatever's out there today and i'm like if it was working then why are people still so fat it's because of the foods that they eat you know they don't and they don't realize that that um that they're putting stuff like hydrogenated oils in our so-called healthy foods but uh this article also goes to it's like avoiding hydrogenation it says, when you start reading food labels, it is astonishing how many products you will find that contain partially hydrogenated oils. Um, it says, the more labels you read, the, the more astounded you will be at the variety and number of places that this insidious little killer shows up. Do read the labels. Do call and re recall and discuss and do throw the product back on the shelf or throw it on the floor where it belongs. So... Um, like I said, I'm not asking you to freak out and like stop eating, but you know, just be careful about like what you what you are taking in, and just read like the labels, read like the ingredients um, on the boxes, and you know, I would just cut down on on how many mac mac and cheese 
microwavable mac and cheeses I eat or microwavable um, whatever. I, I would cut down on that stuff because, yeah, it's quick, quick and easy, but it's also uh, uh, will make you fat. And um, you don't want that. You you don't you don't want um, to die of heart disease or any of these other crazy cancers out there. Um, and so yeah, I don't know. I went over so. Anyways, so like I said, just be careful about the things that you eat. And um, I'll see you again in my next um, health video. Bye.